What is up, you guys? It is March. I think I'm assuming it's March 21st because yesterday was the 23th. Uh, it's March 21st. I got a super late start today. I woke up with uh, a bad, a bad message, a message you never want to see. It was Joe saying that her back hurts and she wasn't going to be able to make our workout today. So, oh. Hate to see that, but I really am honestly being uh, serious. I'm concerned that uh, about her, her safety of her back and stuff. I'm hoping she's okay, but I think she will be. I think she just tweaked herself doing a bad exercise or something. That's why you need to be working with your coach. That's why you need to be working with Sean. She already knows. Anyways, uh, so hopefully we'll reschedule for tomorrow. If not, we'll we'll figure it out. But it's just always sad to not be able to spend time with her. I really enjoy Joe, and not just because I get to look at her, but because. We're building a good friendship, and I really enjoy watching her progress with her fitness stuff. And she takes it her, herself and working out very serious, and it's fun. And she's a goofball, but she knows how to like uh, treat the right things seriously and the right things like a, a joke. So she's a smart girl, and I, I see uh, a lot of progress for her in the future. I'm excited to continue to watch everybody grow, and especially her. Anyways, uh, what's today? Thursday? Good old Thursday. Let's... Well, Fucking my Sunday. Unfortunately, I got to go back to work tomorrow. But I did get my desk up and running yesterday. It came, got the desk put together, put it all where it belongs. So that's fucking dope. I ran a game last night. A um, couple things I could tweak. There's always like, you know, things to do. Like uh, the lighting is a little bit weird. So I got a light coming to make it better. And then I'm going to use this camera as my webcam instead of the other ones because just the video quality is not matching up. And there's just a few different things to tweak and then the stream will be super dope and figured out. I also kind of came to the epiphany this morning that uh, I'm back to only posting my tattoo art and tattoo stuff on my Instagram. And my friend Daniel suggested maybe some fitness stuff because people do like to see uh, my working out stuff or just who I am or talking or whatever. But I'm going to mostly keep my vlogs and my personal stuff this i.e. this on YouTube. I'm gonna do my reaction videos on YouTube and then I'm gonna do my streaming videos of uh, gaming on YouTube. And then I'm gonna do gaming clips. I'm gonna post those on my TikTok to try to drive people to the YouTube. And then uh, other than that, I'm gonna keep all my tattoo stuff on my uh, Instagram. And I'll probably, if I start creating videos and vlogs type, type format, which I think we're going to do for the tattoo shop. We'll include that on the YouTube as well. So I think just trying to get rid of how deluded I had made my Instagram over the last couple of years from memes and fitness content and just other shit that's not pertaining to tattoos and stuff. People forgot that I am a tattooer and they stopped hitting me up as much. You know, I still tattoo quite a bit, but just not as much as I should be. And, you know, I need people to be utilizing me as a... Uh, world-renowned tattooer that I am so anyways hopefully this can resurge you know people getting excited about getting tattooed by me again and they can see my art maybe people that don't know that I'm an artist or what kind of art I create they can it's a new chance for them to see my art so really excited to reformat my um my, my social media platforms and I've that's been the goal for this year has been to redo all this and to figure all this stuff out and to figure out the best ways to create content for each type of of media you know and I think uh, I think we're getting closer by the day at the end of this year it's gonna be insane to see the amount of progress that I've made and the amount of videos I've already made over a thousand videos this year in the last two and a half months and that's greatly to because of I make a lot of videos on uh, on YouTube that are just reaction shorts. So I make a ton of shorts. I've done about a, a thousand shorts. And then I've made about a hundred long form videos this year already. So, you know, it's crazy. You just gotta stick at it, grind it out, keep at doing these things. And it's it's gonna be so awesome to see these different results at the end of this year. I wanna see my, my, my fitness results from changing my diet better. I've been really good on my diet. I had pizza the other night. But other than that, I've only had maybe two other cheat meals all year. So like just really staying diligent on all these things, keeping my head down, grinding and understanding that that if I don't put in the work, I'm not going to see the results. I'm the only one that benefits from my hard work unless I get married to a millionaire, which I'm not going to pray for that one. Uh, you know, I got to make this happen for myself. So we're going to make this happen. We're going to get to zoo. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do today. I'm going to 
probably do shoulders. I'm supposed to do shoulders with Joe, and I have a feeling she's just gonna start flake, you know, flaking. So I'm not gonna wait around for her to do anything. So I'll do shoulders today. Bitch the entire time. Complain about how bad my left shoulder hurts, and yeah, that'll be it. Let's get it, boys. Oh man, just had a uh, really dope conversation with Barry. Should have recorded it, but there's a little impromptu about delegating your time and how important it is to give yourself the right amount of time for each project that you have. I got a lot of shit on my plate, a lot of stuff that I do, the vlogs and the tattoo shit and everything. So to have enough time to do each project is really important. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with too much shit. You also don't want to like sit around and be bored and lazy. So, you know, I always say, would you rather be bored or busy? You know, I'd rather be busy. So, let's try to fucking warm up these fucking shoulders of mine, my whack ass shoulders. This, this is a grind year. I mean, it's always a grind year, but this year more than ever, I think 2024 is a big year for everybody just to put their head down and grind. We need to see some fucking serious results by 2025. I'm tired of seeing the same shit and I'm tired of living the same life. So I want to see the next chapter. And the only way to get there is by fucking grinding. I ain't no punk, so I'm going to do what I got to do. Unfortunately, even if it hurts my fucking left delt, like, <laughs> like always. Oh, that feels good, honestly. This shit's kind of impressive. I mean, not even kind of impressive. Shorty's fucking a uh, beef. Look at this shit. And this chick is sexy already, but this just kind of put her over the top. Oh shit. Imagine getting fucking diced up with one of them hoes. Oh! <laughs> Fuck, bro. Yo. Hey, Dad. That's crazy. Damn, Shorty's crazy. She knock you the fuck out. Now, if you got hit with one of them hoes, it's a wrap. It'd be game over. Game the fuck over. Oh, come on. Oh, feel good. Stretch these bitches out. And the Viking press is back open. Shit's working. Drinking fountain, no. Viking press, yes. Come on. Oh, fuck. Fuck, come on. Such a cool environment at this gym. Like, I've been to so many gyms, and honestly, they all kind of suck and, and have the same kind of vibe. Like, people just don't really work together, or you can't really ask nobody for help, or... You know, there may be one or two guys in the gym that you know can give you some help, but that's it. It's not like everybody or you don't trust like the majority. It's crazy to see like a lot of your peers here be at such a high skill level and take themselves so serious. It's really inspiring and makes you want to do the same shit so that you're not just like a punk ass, you know? You know, even with social media content creation or weightlifting or powerlifting. It's really crazy to see all these kids and how how they are dealing with this shit. It's not the same. This is not a normal group of people, honestly. It's a bunch of go-getters. Come on. Let's go. Fuck. Come on. Oh. Fuck. Uh. Ouch. Yeah. They took the sign off the Viking press, but I think it's still broken, honestly. The little pin doesn't work to fucking hold it up. One of them does. Oh, Should be fine, though. Be able to get something out of it. Yeah, it's plenty of range for me, honestly. 
Ah, fuck it. Oh, Chance always. Oh, feels good. Oh, man. The heat of harassing people, trying to stretch. Always. Sheesh. Feeling a little tightness in my front delt on my left, but. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's in my back. It's that same spot right here. I don't know what's up. It's weird. I had a uh, Dre try to work it out a bunch, but that shit is crunchy as a bitch. There we go. All the way down. All the way up. All the way down. Come on, bitch. Five more. Five. Three. Two. Ouch. All right, let's give this bitch a shot. Oh, that seems very low. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, shit. Should have checked that before that. Fucking hurt. Readjust. That was fucking whack. Damn. Is that why that shit was all the way down? I wonder. Oh, fuck. This shit hurts to go the full range of motion that we can always. Let me try to. Just this side. This side, look. No problem. Get this side. Fine. Maybe I should start with lighter weight. Come on, bitch. Oh, Mary's here. He is going to be excited. Ow. Yeah, I might have to start with the lower weight. So I can get this shit warmed up. <laughs> She's so excited to see you. What up, Mary? Hello, how are you? Good. Be the cash. No. You guys have to follow Mary now. Bye, Fajita. My dog now belongs to Mary. All right. I'm gonna go to 25 and try to just see what I can make this feel like because that shit is hurting. <laughs> Damn, I'm sure you almost walked in front of my camera. Would have been all good. Give the fuck. No one even gives a fuck out of my 30 people be watching my stupid ass vlogs. Appreciate y'all, but I know y'all don't care about her walking in front of the camera. You guys aren't the problem. She is. Oh, that feels good. Just stretching my shoulder like that. Oh, fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Tight. Oh, I bet this will feel good, honestly. Just 25. Oh, fuck. Even that feels heavy. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, fuck. Mary got fajita running back and forth across the gym. Shit. Stuffy is a bitch in here. Fucking pussy mode on the shoulders as always. Let's see how we're doing on this last one. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better, but I'm only doing 25 pounds now, so. 
Let me widen my grip. Come on. Yeah, man, it's still better, but <laughs> feet is planking <laughs> next to the little guy. Pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, come on, bitch. oh fuck. Yeah, shoulder's not feeling it right now. Might be the last exercise. We'll probably go out with this. Just some light, on light fucking sh shoulder press, 10 pounds, nothing. Some bitch shit. A little bitch, bitch weight. But I ain't trying to, I'm honestly feeling good with my front delt. I'm not trying to fucking hurt my, honestly, maybe I do a, Reverse pec deck just to get them rear delts cracking. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Yeah, it feels good to go full range of motion since only fucking 20 pounds or 10 pounds on each side. Ain't shit. <sighs> That's still fucking hard, holy shit. Come on, bitch. Ouch. I had five pounds. I like that they're playing Spanish music in here. It's fucking hard. This is like what I would be listening to. I listen to like Hardcore music and Spanish music. I'm kind of tired of rap music these days. I listen to like 42 Doug every once in a while. He's kind of like one of the only ones. But not too much rap music. Just kind of played on it. Come on. There we go. I'm glad nobody's in here to see me be a fucking bitch and I'll shoulder press 10 pounds. Come on. Oh, fuck me, dude. Yeah, Tight. <laughs> All right, let's get this last one. And then potentially keep the pushing, to be honest. I'm feeling okay. I could do a reverse pick deck just to get some rear delt, maybe. Let's see how I'm feeling here in two seconds. Feeling all right, though. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Ah, oh, fuck. Shit. All right, let's get this last exercise in here. Ouch. <laughs> Let's go. Mary goes to Planet Fitness? I didn't know that. I, maybe I did know that. I don't even know where the Planet Fitness is. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Right, honestly. Should do some cardio with Mary, but... Fucking whack. Let's get this shit over with and fucking do some cardio with Mary. Sweat a little bit. Come on. Easy. Oh. That's all she wrote on the seven. All right, y'all. That's a wrap for shoulder day. Uh, ended up going over to Big Al's house and politicking with him about some game plans shit he can do to help his uh, company and 
things I could do to help my business. So it's always good to have somebody you can bounce ideas off of, somebody that you trust. Like <laughs> he was going crazy with the ball in the background. Somebody you can trust, you know, their opinion, and so that you don't take offense when they critique you or tell you, you know, what they think uh, could help, you know, or cha you can change, you know, and you don't take it like a personal stab or whatever. Anyways, yeah, it's been a good day. Going to edit this vlog, going to do my reaction videos, and then I'm going to hop on stream at 8 o'clock. So, hope to see you guys there. I really appreciate the support. The vlogs have been fucking awesome. You guys know the deal. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and let's pray. Everybody pray tonight and hope that Joe feels better and that we can work out with her tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.